Okay, we're going to start by showing a few tricks today. We're going to first make a few what we call non-tries. It's because there's non-geos and it makes a triangle. It's also called a non-try because it usually takes about non-tries to make one. It's a little harder than it looks, but you pinch the sides like this and you take these two and, this, and these two fingers and push together until they all squeeze together like that. Um, then you want to make sure these go together like so. You're going to find this guy in here and spin these around until they grab each other like that. Put it nicely in your hand. And this is the tricky part. You go a little bit slow and it makes a nice little ball for you. And you can put that ball and spin it. It'll spin there for a while. Now next we're going to build a little spaceship. And this is what I call off or uh, in phase when the balls go in like this. So I'm going to turn them so that they match that ball to ball instead of uh, ball to every other ball. So once again, turn it. This guy's trying to grab some friends. All right, now we're going to go like that. Let's keep this guy spinning. And we're going to take another one of the same. Match it again. Oh, it doesn't want to match, so we'll spin this guy around so that it does match now. Put that together like that. So it makes a little different kind of a ball. Now we're going to pinch the sides here, pinch the sides there. You can see it's starting to look like a little spaceship. We'll pinch these sides there as well. Um, and then we're going to do one of these numbers. Pop these off, bring that around, push that off, and boom. It makes like a little cylinder. Okay, next we're going to take what we call a 3D PEX. This is a three deep hexagon, it's six sided. We basically use that just to count to 36, it's 36 balls. So we use this to make what we call a pop out. And a pop out is made by doing as such, hooking these three balls together. And this is a little tricky too, but you push from here into the middle until you have a little uh, three sided angle there. And then you can pop each one out like this. I don't know if you can see the balls are popping out. And there, you have one of these guys. We'll take another one of those guys, put it together, and you can see how they make this kind of a strange little bow tie. You add one more of these guys to the mix, and all of a sudden, it wants to become straight again. All right, next, we're going to move on to uh, what we call the poodle. You ba I take two balls of six, Put them together like this. You can see they're off phase. I'm going to take one more. Oh, sorry. That has seven. So I'm going to take six this time. Put it there. So there you go. You see what that makes here. And we're going to put these together. You see how they don't want to grab? They're uh, saying no thanks. So you spin it around until they like each other. Keep those two apart a little bit. 
And then we're going to, oh, that doesn't like each other, so we're going to grab there, grab here. And now you see how there's three sides. And with the same sort of principle, I've made kind of a, a little body for a dog. So when I put this here, this kind of grabs here. And there's the puppy dog. Here's his little dish. You can see how fancy that is. And this is the 4x6. It slams into something funky every time. Um, you can go too deep, three deep on that guy. And again, this guy will spin for quite a while because you're not dealing with as much friction.